Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today on our 2009 Chevrolet Silverado, we're gonna be taking a look at and showing you how to install the Kurt trailer hitch receiver. So the first thing I noticed about the hitch is that it's gonna blend in pretty good. It's really not gonna take away from the looks of your Silverado. And with Silverados being such a popular and versatile truck, many of the people that I know and our customers use them as work trucks and it makes complete sense. However, it's a little hard to get the job done if your truck doesn't have a hitch and you need to tow a trailer or some materials, anything like that. So with this hitch in place, it's gonna allow you to do that and make life a little bit easier when you're working. So this is a class three hitch. So we're gonna have that real common two inch by two inch receiver tube opening and a reinforced collar for extra strength. And it's going to have the standard 5.8 size pinhole. Now a pin and clip does not come included but if you do need one, you can pick it up here at eTrader. So we're gonna have loop style safety chain openings. And to be honest with you, I really don't think they're super great. They're not that big and they do sit right below the pin and clip. But once you kind of look at the hitch, it is understandable. There really isn't a whole lot of other places you could go with them, but they will still give us enough room to use just about any size hook. As far as the hitch's weight capacities go, it's gonna have a 600 pound maximum gross tongue weight rating. So that's gonna be the amount of weight pushing down on the hitch. That's a high number and you should use any accessory without any issues really. As far as the maximum gross trailer weight rating goes, it's going to be 6,000 pounds. So that's gonna be the amount of weight that's pulling on the hitch. So that's the weight of your trailer plus anything that you might have on it. This can be used with a weight distribution system which is a separate component, but if you do use that, your weight capacities will increase. Maximum gross tongue weight rating goes up to 1,000 pounds, and the maximum gross trailer weight rating goes up to 10,000 pounds. Now, I do always like to mention, it's never a bad idea to check with your truck's owner's manual to make sure your Silverado can pull that much weight safely. Now, I'm gonna give you a couple of measurements, and you're gonna use these to help figure out which hitch mounted accessories to get. From the ground to the top inside edge of the receiver tube opening, it's going to be about 17 and a half inches. And you're gonna use that measurement to help figure out whether you need to get a ball mount with either a rise or a drop. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the edge of our rear bumper, it's gonna be about five inches. And you're gonna use that measurement to help figure out that if any folding accessories you might have can be stored in the upright position without contacting the bumper. So overall, this is a good, happy medium hitch. It's not extremely heavy duty, but it's not really lightweight either. It's gonna be perfect for kind of your common or general trucking needs. Now, as far as the installation goes, it's really straightforward and shouldn't really take you hardly any time at all. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and put it on together now. To begin your install, what you can do to give you a little bit more room and make it easier is lower and remove your spare tire temporarily. In our case, I tried to lower it and went down about an inch and stopped. So I think something's wrong with it, so I'm not gonna risk lowering it and not being able to, to put it back up. And that's perfectly fine. You don't have to lower it to get it out of the way. Like I said, it does help a little bit. What we're gonna do is come to the back of our frame rail and we're gonna have a factory bolt here that we're gonna pull out. So I'm gonna do that using a 21 millimeter socket. I wanna to mention too, from this point on, anything we do to one side of the truck, we're also gonna to do to the other side because they're gonna be set up the exact same way. Once you have that bolt out, it's not a bad idea to spray the threads down and clean them out using a tube brush. Because this is going to be an attachment point that holds our hitch up into place. We're gonna have two more attachment points. We're gonna be using this hole and this hole. And so what we're gonna do is take a spacer block and a carriage bolt, put the carriage bolt through it like that. And then just simply drop it down through our frame rail. It'll be the same setup for this hole as well. Now with an extra set of hands, we can take our hitch and raise it into position. And line up the holes in the hitch with our hardware. And for this hole, that factory bolt that we took out, what we're gonna do is take the hex bolt that comes included and a conical tooth washer. Make sure the teeth on the washer are going to face up towards the hitch. And we're just going to get this one started hand tight on each side. 
That way the hitch will support itself while we work on the rest of the hardware. As far as the other two bolts go, what we're gonna do is take a flange nut and get them going on as well. With our hardware in place and hand tight, we can come back and snug it down. At this point, we can grab a torque wrench and tighten all of the hardware down to the amount specified in the instructions. And that'll finish up our look at and our installation of the Kurt trailer hitch receiver on our 2009 Chevrolet Silverado.